A Prayer for the Holy Spirit to Teach You by Emily Rose Massey, read by Leah Martin. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I've said to you. John 14, 26. In high school, I was gifted a Bible when I became a member of my new church. I was so excited to start reading it and learn more about God, but as time went on, I became more and more intimidated by its pages. Where do I begin? Do I start in Genesis and just read through it beginning to end? Do I need to spend time memorizing what I'm reading? What does this word mean? These thoughts circled my teenage mind, and I was so hesitant to even dive in for fear that I wouldn't understand what I was reading. It didn't take long for schoolwork and all the extracurricular activities I was involved in to crowd out any downtime to make space to read my Bible. Soon enough, that Bible would find a permanent home on my bookshelf, left untouched. I hate to admit it, but the intimidation and distractions would follow me all through college as well. When I was stressed out, I'd glance at my neglected Bible and randomly open it and try to soak up some hope for my weary soul. And although I heard the gospel as a teen and was a professing Christian for six years, it wasn't until after I graduated college that God granted me genuine repentance from my sin and rebellion. And he gave me the faith to fully surrender my life to Christ and trust him completely. One Sunday, I stepped foot in a church service for the first time in a few years, and I believe I was born again that day. The reality of offending a holy God and my desperate need to turn to Jesus, take up my cross and follow him, overwhelmed me for the first time in my life. After that moment, my whole world changed, and I suddenly had a deep desire to read my Bible and obey God. I look back and see the difference between my high school and college days was that I was trying to understand what I was reading without the help of the Holy Spirit. And once I became born again at the age of 22, I was given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Jesus describes him as a comforter, as well as a helper and teacher in John 14. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I've said to you. John 14, 26. As born-again believers, when we open the pages of Scripture, we're not left on our own to understand what we're reading. We have a helper and a great teacher, the Holy Spirit, to guide us in our pursuit of growing in the knowledge of the Lord. He illuminates the truth to us over time and will bring what we've read to our remembrance. This is why it's so important to be consistently reading our Bibles so that we can store what we're studying in our hearts. The Bible is a gift from God to help us in our daily lives to be able to learn of God's ways and learn who God truly is so that we can grow closer to Him and worship Him rightly. I have to admit, sometimes I still struggle with intimidation and distraction when it comes to reading my Bible. But after walking with the Lord for over 10 years now, I know that I'm not left alone on this journey. I have a helper who guides me into all truth and supernaturally helps me understand the words I'm reading, words that are spirit and life, John 6, 63. He is always with me, and I can always ask him for help. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Not only does he convict me of my sin when I daily fall short, He's my ever-present help in time of need, who also guides me into all truth. I admit that I need help understanding your holy written word. Holy Spirit, will you give me a hunger to daily read the Bible? May you supernaturally illuminate what I'm reading 
and give me the ability to comprehend what I'm studying, not just for head knowledge, but to help me know you in a deeper way so that I give you the worship you deserve. In Jesus' name, amen.